Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Records. Happy Halloween. The last few days we've been talking about scary records. And so today I've kind of been waiting all year to show this record on Daily Records because this is a very um, famous record. It's one that uh, shows up uh, in a lot of books and websites as one of the worst album covers of all time. And I actually have a copy of this record. Uh, before I'd seen it on any of those websites, this showed up uh, in a stack of records. Um, and I, I bought a copy. It was still sealed. This is John Bolt, Julie's 16th birthday. Now I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to take this cover in uh, because it is truly um, terrible. And so I just want you guys to look at that. Let it let it soak in. Let it uh, hang out there. Now we're going to talk about it because this is on the Rochelle Records label out of Louisiana. Like I said, I bought this album, still sealed. There's John Bolt looking rather um, John uh, Anderson-ish. Um, this album uh, recorded in uh, the early '80s, I think, around 1980 is when when the album first came out. Um, and in Louisiana, Crowley, Louisiana, uh, and John Bolt was a, kind of a local country singer and, and everything. Um, he had gone to Nashville. Um, he was playing around Louisiana. He'd gone to Nashville. And they thought he could be like a good, a good country star. Uh, and so he went to Nashville. It didn't quite happen. Came back to Lake Charles, Louisiana, which is where he's from, and was just about to give up. But somebody said, hey, dude, you got to make a record. And he did. Uh, and so he hooked up with this guy, Teddy Broussard, uh, to produce this album. Now, Teddy Broussard, um, from what I understand, uh, was kind of uh, really hands-on. In addition to producing the album, he wanted to be involved with the cover art and everything. Uh, and so... Bolt later admitted that that it wasn't a good idea to sign with this guy because he he had already it, it was a whole host of stuff you can find it on the internet but um, yeah it's it's just a collection of standard uh, what I would call honky tonk uh, bar music uh, quite a few songs there's uh, traveling on a one way street just say when same old way. Um, there's a Hank Williams Jr. tune. It's different to be with you. Um, there's a, Terry, a Teddy Broussard number, half as much. But it's the title track that draws everybody into this thing. Now, I'm going to tell my story about it. I opened the record up because, you know what? Curiosity just got the best of me. I know it probably is worth more Steel Sealed. But I had to know what this album cover was about. I've only listened to one track on this album, which is probably unfortunate for John Bolt, but I've listened to the title track because I had to know what is going on in this picture. Um, now, when I first saw this picture, I couldn't tell what was happening. I'm assuming this is Julie. It's her birthday. This guy's in a bar. He's got a cigarette and a drink, and he's got his guitar and stuff back here, and he's consoling her. Uh, did he get her pregnant? Uh, what's going on here? Like this is this is horrible. Like what could possibly be happening? So, um, like I said, curiosity broke the seal on this thing and uh, gave it a spin. So here's what the song is about. The title track, Julie's 16th birthday. Jim is the main character in the song, and uh, he hangs out in bars and likes to drink and um, you know get a little get a little buzzy, and uh, he does it more than he should. So he's um, He's talking to his friend Lou, and the song is half spoken, half sung. And he's saying he can't stay at the bar because his daughter Julie is having her 16th birthday. And so he's got to get, man, I got to go. I can't hang out here at the bar. Uh, you know, I got to get to Julie. And so he has one more drink, one more drink, keeps losing track of time. And then he decides, well, I got to get home. So he gets behind the wheel of the car, drives home. And he's going to speed back to see Julie on her 16th birthday. Fair enough, right? So he's reaching for a bottle under the seat. 
and he hits a car head on. So now this is where the story takes the most almost comedic turn or tragic turn, depending on how you look at it. Uh, and he basically is in the hospital and he wakes up in the hospital. So here's the twist. And it's better than anything that I could possibly make up. So he comes through and Lou is his buddy Lou is at the hospital and he's saying that uh, you know, I'm sorry, and he understands that, you know, he was injured um and that a teenage girl was killed uh in this in this crash. And so <laughs> I'm laughing about it now because it's so it's so terrible. He's, he's dying in his deathbed. He says, before I pass on, tell Julie how sorry I am for spoiling her birthday. And so Lou says, Jim, save your breath because uh, you're going to meet her in heaven. You can tell yourself. He killed Julie on her 16th birthday. That's the, that's the story. He got drunk and killed her. So the cover is not even as bad as the song itself. Because he killed his own daughter, driving drunk, coming home from the bar. <laughs> I know there's been some interviews and some talk. John Bolt has come out and he talked about how Teddy Broussard, uh, you know, wasn't happy with the result. Uh, and he's kind of been outspoken about it. I mean, they took some pictures at the session like this of just him and the guitar, smiling, looking happy. But this was the cover that was chosen. The album came out and... Um, you know, it, whatever. I mean, not a hit, clearly. Very local. Lucky for me, I'm, I'm from Mississippi, where things like this probably around. This is a reissue from 1985 when two, uh, Ted Broussard re-released the album. Uh, and he also released a 45 of this. So if you see them out there, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, find it for yourself and, and enjoy it. Uh, but... I know. I've gone probably long today. Halloween edition, John Bolt, Julie's 16th birthday. Now you know what lies in this album. Truly horrifying. Truly scary. You guys be safe. Comment down below. Do you know this album? Share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All that good stuff is Tommy Burton 75. I'll see you again tomorrow with another daily record. Boo!